योर क्वेश्चन इज एग्जामिन इफ रोज थियरम इज एप्लीकेबल टू एनी ऑफ द फंक्शन वी हैव टू एग्जामिन तो फर्स्ट वी विल राइट द कंडीशन वॉट आर दैट तो वी कैन से एफ एक्स इज कंटिन्यूस तो फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज दिस नेक्स्ट द रेंज वॉट एवर दे हैव गिवन वी विल टेक इट एज ए एंड बी तो ए एंड बी इज द दिस वन तो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू टेक द रेंज इन ए एंड बी ए एंड बी नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट एफ ए शुड बी इक्वल टू एफ बी If this is possible, f a is equal to f b, then only we have to go for f dash c is equal to zero. So we should get some value of x or y. So we should get some value. Of, it should lie between a and b. So now we can say value should lie between. a and b now so first we will check one by one so first is you can see here fx is equal to what is this big bracket and x is what so we can say it's a greater integer hmm and we have already learnt in greater integer it is not continuous in first uh, greater integer if it is greater integer it is not continuous and not differentiable not continuous and not differentiable therefore rolles theorem does not possible in first we have to write this second we will check second also they have given the same greater integer so it is not possible so your second answer is also your same comes to your third third so third they have given you here they have given you polynomial so we know that polynomial is continuous polynomial is continuous now this gone range is 1 and 2 so now we can say a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 this also over now we have to find it out fa so we can say fa is equal to f1 Is equal to now substitute the value x square minus one. So we will get one square minus one. That is equal to zero. Now we have to go for f b. F b. So that is nothing but function two. That is equal to we can say is two square minus one. That is equal to four minus one. That is equal to three. so here comes 0 here comes 3 so they are not equal so now we can say f a is not equal to f b so rolles theorem is not possible So like this, we have to do it. 